Now, good day, everybody. Now, on the last video, we explained some of these features. Now, I'm going to explain some of the features that we didn't touch on this um, Binance feature. So, now, let's check this part here at the top. I mean this part here. If you click at the part, which is this menu, it will prompt you to select the coin you want to use for the trading. Okay. So, if you click on all, you will see all the coin that you can select from. Okay, if you click on zone, you will see some, some coin. If you click on favorite, it will give you the, the favorite coin that you have marked already. So I click on all. So if you scroll down, you see all the coin you can trade on futures. You can't trade all the coins in futures. Just take note. You can only trade some specific coin in futures. And this is a good coin to trade right now, Digibyte in futures. Okay, so um, that is that. Let, uh, let me show you another part, uh, which is take profit and stop loss. Okay, take profit and stop loss. What is take profit and stop loss? Take profit simply means taking profit when you have made some profit. Stop loss stops you from um, uh, having huge losses. Not as if you won't have loss. You only have little loss. Okay, so now let's uh, particularize this. How do you impute take profit and how do you impute stop loss? Now, take profit, if you are buying, your take profit should be above your entry point. Okay, now stop loss, your stop loss will be below your entry point. Now, this take profit, the reason why you are putting it above is like, for example, the, the price of this uh, VET, VChain, slash usd is um let's give it a, a reference price of like two dollars okay and you enter at that point which it was two dollars you now make profit of three dollars and you now say okay when you get to four dollars take the profit for me that means you have put take profit that you have set a take profit limit okay so when this market gets to four dollars it will automatically cut and take that profit for you that is how take profit works so you put it above that point you enter you enter at two dollars you are you put it above that means you are telling the market that when it gets to four dollars take the profit you have made for me and close the trade then your stop loss will be below that two dollars that you that your entry point of two dollars in in the sense that you will tell the market that ah when you go below two dollars, probably you go to one dollars and or below one dollars, stop the trade for me. I don't want to make big loss, just cut the trade for me. So when the market goes to that one dollar, goes down, pull back to one dollar and hit your take hit your stop loss, automatically it will cut the um trade for you and your all that money that you have in your futures wallet will be safe. Let me assume you have a $100 and you are trading with um, the full $100. And you say, okay, if this trade gets to, um, from maybe from, gets to like, take 20% of my of, of my account, stop the trade for me. Probably if the trade go against you $20, against you minus $20, you will just, the trade will just cut and $80 will be saved. That is the uh, benefit of using stop loss. Okay, so let's just particularize it. Now, let's put a stop loss in this uh, little trade we just placed. Now, look at our entry point. Take note of the entry point. 0 0.211756. Okay, let's put the, the take profit first. This is how you put the take profit. You click this play the rules, take profit and loss. Stop uh, profit and loss. That is what you click that part. Let's click it. Now. Now, let's uh, put the take profit here. This is the current market price. Okay, this is the current market price. Now, let's put it above this current market price. So, let's type in the take profit first. Because you type in the take profit and the stop loss in the same place. So, it depends what you type. That is what the system will record as take profit or stop loss. If you type uh, a price higher than your current uh, uh, entry point it will record it at a take profit if you are buying if you um 
impute a price lower than your entry point and you buy the market, it will take it as a stop loss. So let's put a price higher than this entry point. Look at the entry point here. This is the entry price. Okay. This is the current market price and this is the entry price. So we we'll put the um, our take profit above this price. Okay, this is the entry price. So we we'll put uh, 0 0.22. Let's say 0 0.3. Let's use 0 0.3. When the market gets to 30 cents, take profit for me. Okay, let's put 0 0.3. Let's just type 0 0.3. Okay, you click confirm. You click confirm yeah at the bottom okay now it will not tell you that if you put if you put it as zero point when the market gets to 30 cents you are going to make five dollars five dollars 64 cents worth of usdt okay so you click on the percent then it will not give you the profit or loss now it's showing you profit because you put um the take profit point above your current entry point. Okay, so let's click confirm to confirm this first. Now we are going to set the stop loss. Now we are going to set the stop loss. Okay, you are going to do the same thing. Click the same place again, the same button. Once you click the same button, now check your entry points which is this. So we want to stop the market if it goes below our entry point. So let's put our entry, uh, the, the price of which we want the market to stop. 0 0.1. Let's say if the market goes down to 0 0.15. Are you seeing that if you check, we are going to lose $3. Okay. So let's click confirm. The market have recorded it as a stop loss because it's below the current market price and we are actually it's below our entry points and we just place uh a limit a limit um actually a limit uh, order that tells the market that when you get to 0 0.15 cents cut the trade for me so the market will do as you say just click confirm then click confirm sell you have put take profit and stop loss on your trade automatically. So how do you check for your take profit and stop loss? You click here. Open orders. Okay. When you click on open order, you'll see your stop loss and your take profit here. Are you seeing it? So this is how you put stop loss and take profit. And uh, let's check. Let's check uh, what have we not explained here. Okay, good. Now, if you want to check, forecast the charts, if you want to forecast, if you want to see your chart of this uh, V chain slash USDT, click on this candlestick you're seeing here. Just click on it. It will take you straight to the chart for you to see the market, how the market is moving. So, if you are the type that knows how to predict charts, that knows how to forecast the. Uh, Check the uh, check the charts and uh, know what the where the market will move to. You just check and you go back. Just click on go back. You go back to where your your futures um, position are. Then uh, another thing you should uh, take note of is um this part here. Unrealized profit and loss. Okay, so if you check this part here, we have two parts here. The one in the brackets, this one here, let me explain. This one here is the percentage you are losing or making or you are profiting from. Okay, let's assume that you are making profit of 10%. It will show you plus 10 here with green. That means you are on profit of 10%. Then it will not be showing you the 10% profit here according to your capital. For example, if you if you are using hundred dollars to trade, the full hundred dollars to trade, you know ten percent of hundred dollars is ten, so you will make it ten dollars here. But if you are using ten dollars to trade, even though you are making ten percent here, you will be just be seeing just one dollar here as profit. 
Okay, the same way goes to the loss. If you're making losses, the same way you see the record, it will be recorded here. Okay, so th that is that. Um, now we have this place. They wrote liquidation price. Sorry. This place they wrote liquidation price. Let me explain it. Now this liquidation price is um when the market comes down to this point. You know, the market is around, um, look at the um, current market price now, 0 0.2. But Binance is telling you that when the market comes down to 0 0.14257, I'm talking about this price, yeah? 0 0.142576. It simply means that your order will be closed. Everything will be closed. That means you have liquidated your account. Okay, that means your money in your account must have been finished by then. Okay, I'm not talking about the full money you. I'm talking about the the money you partitioned for the particular trade. Okay, so that is what the liquidation price is. Um, and this place you, you you're seeing sixty four vets. Now this sixty four vet, what it means is that I'm currently trading with sixty four vet because I'm using what zero point times three leverage, which is this. I've taught leverage. Okay, to multiply your money fast. Okay, so if I put the leverage up to like maybe times 10, you will see that this one might change to like 644 uh, bets. It, it's telling me that I'm using a higher vet to trade, even though I have a little money. Okay, so that is that. Uh, what else? What else? What else? What else? Uh, okay, now if you have made profit, and you want to close the profit, or probably you want to close it on loss, and you are not using stop loss or take profit, this is what you do. Just click close position. Once you click close position, um, just click confirm. Now you'll be seeing, now you'll be seeing the uh, profit you have made here, or the loss you have made. So all you just need to do is to confirm. Just click confirm. Once you click confirm, it will close the trade for you automatically. Everything will be closed. So even though you are making loss, uh, uh, even though you make $10, the $10 will be added to your account. If you make losses, the losses will be deducted from your account. You know, just like that. As you can see, as you can see, I've made some losses just for the sake of this tutorial. I, I can't leave the trade to go for long because I have to cut the trade so that you see how it works. And, um, uh, what else, what else, what else have I not explained here? What else, what else, what else? Okay, I'm going to talk about this coin M option and battle. And I'm going to talk about it in another video. So thank you for watching this short video.